So the purpose of this video is to explain to you the parts and functions of a microscope. So the very first part we're going to talk about is the ocular lens up here at the top. This is also referred to as the eyepiece. For the microscopes that we have in class, this gives you 10 times magnification. The body tube is the next portion. The body tube is just what connects the eyepiece to the rest of the microscope. A number three is an important one for carrying the microscope around. This is referred to as the arm. When you're holding the arm of the microscope and the base of the microscope, that's a nice firm grip. It should allow you to transport them around carefully. Uh, number four is referred to as the revolving nose piece. This allows you to switch between the three different objective lenses. On our microscopes in class, we actually have uh, three different powers on these. The smallest one gives you four times magnification. So the four times here, combined with the ten times from the objective lens, gives you a total of 40. Then we have a 10x lens, which again, combined with the uh, ocular lens, is going to give you 100. And then lastly, we have the 40 times objective lens, which combined with the one that you're looking through at the top, gives you 400 total magnification. So we've got three different objective lenses down here. Altogether, it's 40, 100, and 400 times normal magnification. Uh, the stage is the next part of the microscope. This is where you'll actually put your slide. The clips on either side of the stage allow you to secure your slide. The things that move the stage up and down are these two knobs on the side of the microscope. The course adjustment knob moves the stage significantly and should only be used when the lowest power objective is in place, when you have the 40x lens in place. The smaller knob over here is the fine adjustment knob. This moves the stage very, very slightly, and that's what you should use when you have the 100 and the 400x uh, lenses in place. Another important thing about the stage is that there is a hole in it down here at the bottom covered by glass. That allows a certain amount of light through from your light source down here at the bottom. The thing that regulates that is this piece underneath. It's called the diaphragm. Now, with our microscopes in class, this looks like a disc that you can select different size holes in. Nine times out of ten, if somebody tells me their microscope is, quote, broken, it's just because the diaphragm is closed. If the diaphragm is closed, it's not letting any light up through your light source, which ends up traveling up through the microscope and through the ocular lens, so you can actually see whatever you're trying to look at there on the stage. So uh, that's always the first thing to check if your microscope isn't functioning correctly. Sometimes this can get bumped when they're being put away. It's just slide closed. So uh, you, you move that one open. Generally, you want them all the way open, allowing the maximum amount of light through. Uh, the one last thing is the power switch down here. Uh, circle is power off. Dash is power on. So now you know the basic parts of the microscope. The number one thing to remember from this is that you only use the course adjustment knob when you are on the lowest power setting. And then the fine adjustment knob when you're on either 100 or 400. If you follow that simple step, you will have no problem whatsoever focusing microscopes in class. As always, thank you for watching.